you find yourself driving down Main Street here in Cedar City, you've definitely seen three large icons that represent Iron County history. Today, I'll be telling you what these huge pieces of equipment represent. Railroads, signified by the caboose, provided pivotal resources for this community. Freight trains were able to haul more raw materials than ever before, increasing profits for the local mining companies. Rail traffic also brought thousands of tourists to the area each year to explore our scenic wonders. Hollywood came to Utah as well, traveling by train into Cedar City. The railroad literally brought the world into our backyard. The caboose provided the train crew with shelter and working space while they threw switches and inspected for problems such as shifting loads, overheating axles and bearings, and dragging equipment. Inside of the caboose, the crew was provided a living quarters that included a small bed, a desk, a bathroom, a fridge, and a stove. Iron County exists today because those who lived here developed the resources necessary for survival in this desert climate. Mining, represented by the ore shovel, is the industry that began it all, proving to be the initial motive for pioneer settlement here. In the 1930s, iron mining expanded in Iron County and massive shovels were needed to excavate the needed ore. The mines began producing ore by the tons and elevated Iron County to one of the richest counties in Utah for nearly 50 years. According to local company delivery records, two Bicerus Erie 120B shovels were delivered to the Utah Construction Company in Cedar City in September of 1936 for use in the iron mines. At the time, the hourly wage for a shovel operator was only 48 cents per hour. The electric 120B shovel had a six cubic yard dipper capacity, big enough to scoop up six tons of dirt and rock, enough to fill a hole the size of a large pickup truck with extended cab and bed. AC power was supplied to the shovel via a trailing 23,000 volt electric cable, which drove a 275 horsepower motor generator set. When moving the shovel from pit to pit, bulldozers were employed to prevent the huge tracks from slipping down the hill. Cedar City still has a thriving livestock industry today. One of the oldest pieces of farming technology is the hay derrick, which allows farmers to build stacks of hay in their fields. Hay derricks, usually homemade devices, consisted of a central pole rigged so that it could rotate on its base. By means of a pulley, rope, and a one horse hookup, the loading fork could be raised and rotated over the haystack. When tipped, the hay would drop onto the stack. Men on top of the stack would arrange the hay so that it would shed water. Thus, the hay would cure rather than rot. Occasionally, rattlesnakes might be hiding in the hay and provide a surprise for those on top of the hay pile. Stacks were built one section at a time. When one section was finished, the derrick was hitched to a horse and dragged to the next section. Hello, visitors. Thank you for joining us for Frontier Homestead State Park Museum's digital classroom in Cedar City. Please comment, like, and share, and continue following us for more fun activities for you to do at home. Frontier Homestead State Park, where history becomes your story.